Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Tooie and guys, I realize I'm a slack jawed pea brain moron Dumbo. There is, in fact, a way to get back to Kazooie faster over here, right over in this area. Even I mentioned it, but somehow did not click in my mind to enter it. So, guys, I just, I just, today's, in today's video, I just gotta be real with you. I just, I can't be fake anymore. Sometimes, sometimes I just have to have a real moment with you all. I'm tired of being this inflatable person, this, this car, this cartoon cutout of a commentator. I'm tired. I need to be real. I need to be like a real Subway sandwich. Get yours right now at 7-Eleven stores world nationwide. World nationwide. Genius, uh, speaking there, John. You know, I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to learn how to be more presentable in the workplace. In the commentating workplace of YouTube. I realize... My human relations aren't up to snuff. What on earth am I talking about? Well, that's pretty much gonna be our weirdest uh, intro for the next, probably the rest of the year. So let's uh, reunite with Banjo and <laughs> get off of that tangent. So there's a lot of bull. <gasps> oh yeah, you're fake. I don't want you. <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, we're gonna get a lot done in this episode. I'm gonna try anyways. And the last part, we only got one jiggy, which was. A little bit on the lame side, so you know what? Today we're gonna make some progress. But to be fair, in the last video, we did do a lot of like things here in Pterodactyl Land that, you know, make up other jiggies elsewhere. So whatever, I don't want to hear it. And Banjo got up very alarmed. He was apparently very alarmed that he was touching that pad. But no, really quickly, we're gonna warp to Wumba's wigwam, and I need to grab these fancy pantsy purple shoes. Honestly, dude, these kicks. I'd buy those in real life. I'm just saying, they're stylish. I really I really think the people are rare. They they really wanted to get into the footwear industry, but they didn't really know how. So they try to project uh, you know, some of their ideas into this video game. And you know, they tested the market and unfortunately it failed. Also, here's how you get into that one room where you learn the egg move. I forgot how to get here. Now I remembered, so there's that. <laughs> and what on earth am I talking? Honestly, guys, some days. Some days you just wake up and you're like, what am I doing with my life? Who am I? What can I do to benefit others? And the, and the answer to that is, no one's sticking nose. I don't even know. So I'm going to keep playing banjo too till we beat it. Good. And anyways, this is how you get this uh, other rock nut. <laughs> I can't help but uh, grin every time I say that name. But um, these guys operate and they'll always be facing banjo and Kazooie. So what you do is you just use the egg and blow them up from behind. Pretty simple. And we're eh, might as well grab these notes. Why the heck not? It was actually no. I already grabbed them. What the heck am I talking about? But yeah, now that we've done that, we're actually gonna head back to Wumba and do the transformation for this world. And I know, I know, I know. Oh, crap. <laughs> that kind of scared me for a second. But I know you're thinking, John. The transformations all suck in this game. I don't even want you to do it. I don't even care about the j shut your filthy pie hole. But hey, thanks for coming to watch the video. But this one is the exception. This time, there's not one, but two transformations. And this one is gonna kick all the butts. Everything else sucks by comparison, because we're turning into a god dang dinosaur. Yes. Wumbo, call this baby T Rex. That, and yeah, all it does is move. But it's awesome. Okay. <laughs> it does a little bit more than move around, but to access its other move, we have to talk to a friendly dinosaur here in Terry Dactyland. And hey, a friendly dinosaur! Hello there! Wow, a new dinosaur! What are you? A vicious T Rex. <laughs> Not that vicious. You don't even know how to roar properly, do you? Uh, no, I don't think we do. <laughs> At least you're honest, and it's easy. Just tap X for a short roar, and hold X for a long one. This sounds like an after-school special. Thanks. Let's go roar at someone. Like you. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty lame, but it does have its uses. So, you may have noticed some of these doors that kind of have our exact image pre-painted on them. That's pretty convenient to warm up, but yeah, if we roar at them, they open up for us. And this will let us access certain areas that we couldn't before and get a channel page inside the mountain. It also lets us read this sign. Roar, 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 roar. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that made no sense to me. Uh, no, not really. I know what he's talking about. So the way I like to remember uh, this little puzzle, and I do believe it actually changes depending on your like save file and all that. You know, just random 
things in the game, but basically I remember it as one, two, two, uh, one, no, it's one, crap, one, one, two, one, two, two. That's pretty much my code. So if you remember, you know, just that the long roars are that, and you know, this is pretty much where we have to do it. So one short one, another short one, a long one, another short one, and then two long ones, and we will get another jiggy. It couldn't be that easy, chat. Yeah, just pretty much go read the sign and then just write it down. You get yourself a jig, yeah! And that is literally all this dinosaur is used for. I am not even joking. Yeah, a little bit on the lame side, you may say, but just you wait. Crap! I totally picked the wrong game. Wait. <laughs> the monster that comes out doesn't even want to touch me, man. He's like, oh, I got a T-Rex. He's a tiny one, but... I'm not gonna mess with him, and yet the T-Rex is a very interesting concept. It's like that nothing can really harm you in this state except like a couple of things. It's like you don't have to worry about oxygen. It's just kind of funny to me, though. But yeah, so let's return this form, and now we actually need to get Mumbo, and we're gonna do a lot of stuff with Mumbo. And you may have noticed, yeah, there was a Mumbo ad right outside here. We're gonna take care of that in due time. Now the thing that's weird about Mumbo is like, you'd think you could just go to the train station and enlarge that, actually no, just cure that one, D D Jam Jar, I'm totally on the warpatch. But you can't actually do that, you have to take him, no you have to take the dinosaur to a different location, specifically the overworld, so. That's something we're, I'm gonna try to squeeze into this episode, but uh, we got a lot of other crap to do, so uh, I don't know. I'll see what I can do, but yeah, that's why we have an extra uh, Globo, and uh, I always do, I always get too close to Mumbo. I mean, I, I just want to be close to you, man. You're my friend. I'm just saying. But no, uh, we're gonna give him this one, and then we what we have to do is we have to go to that area with all the uh, Triceratopses and cure the second child. Then we gotta go walk all the way over to Wumba's hut. Now, eh, it's kind of difficult to actually maneuver around with Mumbo in this area because of all the enemies, because of all the pterodactyls, and because of the fact that, yeah, to even exit here, we have to do a little bit of platforming, but you know what that makes that really, really easy? This first Mumbo pad, which to be honest is totally skippable, but you know, I just wanted to make mention of like, how every single spell that Mumbo casts in this game is the same thing per the world. And you know what, this doesn't really take that long and... Huh, what interesting imagery there. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna touch too much on that, but yeah, yep, yeah, this is how you get to the... I was, gonna be, I was gonna laugh so hard if I messed up with that one jump. Oh my gosh. And yeah, there's uh, actually where the other door for the baby dinosaur takes you. And get, get out of here. Get. Fight you guys. Get, stop it. Don't you do Don't you even think about it. I'm very curious though why they chose like the. A pterodactyl for the overworld enemy. To, for some reason, that still just strikes me as so odd. I, I don't know why that is. It just is to me. I was thinking now, and yeah, over there, okay, we're gonna enlarge this first and then head over because I thought that the babies were a little bit closer, but it turns out they're not. <laughs> isn't isn't that just crazy? Yeah, so we're gonna enlarge literally Wumba and her entire hut. Why that is, you will soon find out. And I like the little rocks that fly over, it's like, really making a tent remove the rocks, Wumba? I, I feel like that was an aesthetic he just decided to do, but... Yeah, getting to this pterodactyl fan- uh, pterodactyl. God, I'm gonna get my dinosaurs ma- How- okay. I'm a failure at pretty much everything, but not my dinosaur names. Now, that's just stupid, and someone's gonna be like, Well, actually, those are, uh, Triceratopses. They were, uh, Plesiotopses, uh, which isn't an interesting thing, and I made it up. But, you knew what I meant. So, uh, any- <laughs> What is wrong with me? I, I think I'm just really- I sounded almost kind of upset in the previous episode. I, I mean, it may just sound that way to me, but it sounded like a little like, oh man, life sucks, I got so much to do with you. And it's like, dude, in reality, right after that video, I just got all that crap done in like an hour, so I don't know what the heck I was talking about, but yeah, Mumba, work your magic! And fix this, uh, di dinosaur. There you go. Nice. Now it's happy. Yeah! So now we got two of the three children. Cured. I was gonna say fixed, but that's something totally different. Perhaps he'll find a girlfriend. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm no judge of uh, dinosaurs, but you know what? I think he's gonna grow up to be a strong lad. 
Give it enough time. And if he eats enough food, that's another thing, man. He's just growing boy. Give him something. Goodness. All right. Let's stop with that. But yeah, you have to take that little passage because obviously Mumbo can't jump up there. And just to get back to the hut, I'm just going to come to the entrance since it's right over here and duel this dinosaur to the death. Oh, that's what I thought. Scaredy pants. <laughs> Those dinosaurs are like the weirdest AI ever. It's very bizarre. I'm just... There's multiple things I could say about that, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna save it for another day. And yeah, that's pretty much all we need Mumbo for. If memory serves me right, I'm gonna feel really stupid. If there's another pad I'm not thinking of, and I actually want golden. I was already capped it. Well, how about that? I'm never gonna get back those three seconds of my life. What a bummer. Man, it's really depressing if you think about life like that. Like, oh man. I remember just sitting at the bus stop every single day, and it's just like, uh, I guess, you know, in reality, those those seconds don't really add up. But, uh, it makes you think, uh, could have gone without that. <laughs> that's just my opinion, though. Anyway, so now that we have, oh man, that was a dark turn. Huh, however will we recover from that? Probably making a dumb poop joke and making a giant dinosaur. Yeah! Yeah, this is the best transformation of the game. I don't... There's one slightly better, but this is pretty much the best. And we are now a Jumbo T-Rex, and we already have the ability to make noise. Okay. Okay. <laughs> He's so stupid looking. Oh my God. I've never liked that. His... Look at it. Look at him. <laughs> He's so derp. Oh my gosh, I love it. But yeah, we are... I think we're way too big to use these uh, here war pads, so... Instead of using them, we're just gonna walk to where we need to go. Pretty much king of the jungle right now. I knew, I realize this isn't a jungle, but you get, you get, you get what I'm trying to. We can pretty much do anything at this point. Permitted uh, Wumba's magic will actually take us there. And you may recall there was a caveman who did not want us to enter his cave because he was a lumpy turd. Well, today we'll fix that. <laughs> Oh, that's scary. We must go change the long cloth. Yeah. <laughs> what is it? I mean, this, this is so funny to me. I actually don't understand it. But yeah, when you're in this form, this world seems pretty darn small. And I hope I can actually do this. And yeah, wow. It tried to attack me and just died. Well, that says a lot about that guy, doesn't it? Well, before we go return this form, they're like, Ah, oh, man, it's such a cool form. We gotta give him something to do. Step on this switch to gain access to it. Wow, that's like our fifth blue... We were getting blue Jinjos like crazy, and how did I not notice that? So, yeah, it's really cool they give you this giant stinking dinosaur form. It's like you, you literally do nothing but that, though. I'm not even exaggerating. That's it. Yeah, is that way? I don't think so. I think it's totally cool to be honest with you, but hey, I'm a little bit on the buy side, aren't I? But yeah, clock's still ticking. It's till, till sticking? Is that what I said? I, man, I'm just getting tongue-tied. There is a song that I'm trying to quote, and I can't think of it, but it has that phrase in it. And there is a fifth gentle. Nice. Okay. Now we need to uh, actually go to that cave where that guy uh, got scared away from and was protecting. So that guy actually didn't have ownership of that cave. He was just blocking us so we couldn't get into it. Which is kind of weird because their names are so similar. I guess I didn't catch that the first time playing. I was like, whoa, what the heck? These guys are way cooler than the other guy. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to need fire eggs. So make sure you got them. Honestly, don't see how you... Hmm. Could you actually get to this point of the game without fire eggs? I'm trying to think about it. Yeah, I guess you could. You just would not have a lot of other moves, I guess. <laughs> Wouldn't have anything from the third level. And here is Oogle Boogle's cave. They're cold in here. Yeah, let's remedy that real fast by shooting fire everywhere and helping them out. There. Not so bad. Just, you know, light that torch. You'll be good, man. Me, Wom, but I still need food. Junk food, good. <laughs> Someone's picky, good. Nah, <laughs> Kim is joking, but... Yeah, there's a lot of these guys that we're going to have to feed with junk food, and there's only one place in the game I can think of that has junk food in it. Huh. Oh, I see. Yeah, we'll do that eventually, but not for a while. Because we have other pressing matters, and we actually don't have the... Th Holy crap, I cannot even see right now. Dude, what the heck is going on? Okay, <laughs> that was a bit on, but... Yeah, we'll do that all in due time. I plan to, like have dedicated episodes to us going back and doing all that stuff. They're coming, man. Don't worry about it. But yeah, there's a second caveman who is 
green for some reason. I mean, I, I personally, I think you guys should match. I mean, just make it easier for everybody to identify you guys as that. Cool. I mean, that's just how I feel about it. Kind of like a code of honor. You know, you should have the green togas going on. That'd be cool. And yes, I hear the egg. I will get to you, egg. In due time, of course. So now we need to, um, gosh, how do I get to the other one? I know it's, I know it's something to do with this. But how? There's no way. Hold on a second. Sorry about that, guys. I just really, really needed to turn the, uh, shades down so I can see. There's a glare, but, yeah, there's our jump pad. You know, why don't we take that instead of, uh, getting the egg right now? And this will take us over to this area where we'll find the third caveman. Honestly, we don't need to light these torches right now. In fact, we could save it when we were backtracking, but you know what? We're here right now. Might as well. Oh, wow, that aim was stupendous. And what color do you got? Kind of an orange compromise. I like it. Nice toes, by the way. He's got like three toes, man. What are you, a sloth? And wait, what? I am so. Dude, his thinking icon was the funniest thing ever. What the heck is. What are you even eating? What are you eating? You're eating dirt. Dude, that's nasty. Dude, junk. I mean, junk food isn't really a step up, but it's better, better than dirt. Okay, I'll get you guys some food in a jiffy. Gee, I didn't know it was that dire of a situation. But yeah, really quickly, we need to grab the egg. Well, not really grab the egg, but hatch it inside of this cave. It's probably the one you're gonna miss for the most part. Let's just hop up there really quickly. Oh man, I really wanted to stick the landing. But I get no! Oh my god! I slid off the top of an egg, man. This kind of stuff only happens to me. That's the only. That's the only way any of this makes sense, yeah, I don't think I've shown that from the front, because <laughs> it's like you're kind of just levitating on top of it, <laughs> I'm just laying on it, but, yeah, just one more baby to go, and we got them all, but something tells me the fourth one won't be so easy, <laughs> and, okay, um, yeah, now we need to do, probably, uh, we need to go find the last, uh, stone nut, I, I, I didn't want to, See, I thought that was the name, but then I thought it was something a little more vulgar, and I was like, no way they'd put that in the kids' game, so I knew it couldn't be that, but yeah. We need to now um, head back up to the top of the mountain, just sort of near that area, because that's where the last stone nut is. We're going to get him, and then we're also going to do a jiggy that is around that area, and then finally hatch the final child, which will be tons of fun. And you notice we actually don't have that many warps. Why is that? Well, mostly I'm stupid. Secondly, I was saying no. And let's see, what order do I want to do this in? I'm going to go find the water area first. I feel like that would be smarter. So really quickly, we're going to head down uh, this. An old man. That hole right over there has probably one of the funniest NPCs in my mind in this entire game. And you may disagree, but I find him hilarious. <laughs> we will save him. <laughs> for later. Oh man, almost that would have been bad. I totally missed this area the first time, but yeah, there's actually a stone nut inside here. Dude, dude, no! No! Oh my gosh. <sighs> As I was saying, I totally missed this area over here, and I cannot believe how I managed to do that, but yeah, there's a little indention, and also there's another stone nut who apparently is incarcerated for life, so you know what? We're gonna help him out a little bit. And this is a very dark joke. Uh, let's not continue that. Let's shoot our clockwork egg inside of here. And since Banjo is on the other side, this should be easy pickings. And there is our final jiggy. Unfortunately, yeah, you gotta shoot on that one to actually grab it. It's kind of weird like that. But that's pretty cool at the same time. So now that we have that, there are like only two jiggies left in this entire area. And how the dump am I going to get back up in the fastest way possible? Would it be smart to fall down? Uh, I can't really. I, oh man, I'm so bad at making these types of decisions. Uh, hmm. I think I'll just meet you guys at the top where that warp is, come to think of it. And okay, dokely then, what I actually want to accomplish over here is, I've kind of been ignoring this little area, but it actually has a lot of things for us to do, and wow, that I was not aiming for you, but hey, I'll take it. And I want to quickly dispose of these pterodactyls, but they are avoiding my uh, very unnamed shots. That one should hit, sweet, okay. Now, let's move before they... <sighs> God dang it, <laughs> I was trying my hardest to avoid showing that uh, debatable Easter egg. Uh, but it looks like the employees of Rare forced it upon you in a way, but 
No, I'm just joking. That's obviously just a, you know, a joke with the developers that they did not intend. You can't tell me that they did. I know they did, but whatever. So basically, we have these really hot embers that we need to dispose of to cross. And this area perplexed me so much. One of my just biggest memories as a kid, I was like coming back from a bingo at a Navy base or what. I don't even think I know why I was there. And they promised everyone could win a prize. And no one actually won, like three people won, because it was being going, it was totally random. What does this have to do with anything? I don't stinking know, but this is the stomping plane, and here we have the third boss of Dinosaur Island. This is not Dinosaur Island, and this is also not a boss. Will my compulsive lying ever stop? I'm not sure, but this guy is really, really cool. So, here in Pterodactyl Land, Terry is in the only giant dinosaur. Yeah, we have the Stompodon. And stomping the... He likes to stomp on things. So basically, if this guy hits you more than twice, you're dead. But luckily, we have some golden feathers. And we can never die when we have these. So, uh, basically, just race to the end and hope that you live. Yeah, there's really no faster way to do this. Just hope that you get golden feathers and it really helps too if you put in the cheat to get extra feathers and I'm just gonna grab you real fast. Super! Now we're gonna have to get across this path with Banjo and Kazooie and also Banjo and also just Kazooie for a lot of different things but we'll talk more about that later. Yes, let's grab! A jiggy. Nice. Now I have to do that same exact thing with just Kazooie to get this Jinjo. So I'm gonna go show what happens when you don't have golden feathers. Yeah, you're taken down to one HP, and one hit after that, you're dead. So that's why you need the golden feathers, and God... I always forget that happens. Well, luckily we just unlocked the warp. So unlocked the warp. That is probably the... Probably one of the best band names I could ever think of. But yeah, doing this as Kazooie is actually not as hard as you think. Because Kazooie has such high, like, movement speed when she's on the ground, just follow, like, the pre-designated path and make sure you just don't get stomped on. And it's pretty darn easy, actually. Ooh. Well, that complicates things slightly. Um, oh. Well, then. I swear, this is, like, so easy. I don't know how I... Ugh. He's always getting me right there. Why is that? You don't need... Ugh, what? <laughs> well, that was awkward, but yeah, we'll get our... Just, or we'll get our Jinjo. Hey, dude. So what if this was a Minjo? How troll would that be? <laughs> and as a result of getting the third golden Jinjo, we will gather another Jiggy. So we're really doing well on Jinjos and just all that jazz, but... Yeah, we still need to capture uh, pretty much one more, and I think, yeah, that's all the warps. I was thinking there was somehow, like, six, and I'm like, I was trying to think, no, that doesn't make any sense, actually, John. <laughs> but now that we have that, Jiggy, all we need to do is hatch the final egg, and this could not be easier. It's literally just to the right of the boss. Apparently, Terry isn't looking very hard to find her eggs. Yeah, there's a secret thing they can open up here. I imagine you just find this uh, split pad by just flying all the way up to the top. I mean, can, this place is giant. Of course, you're going to fly all the way up to the top, so that makes sense. And Well, the door isn't actually that hard to find, but yeah. We're going to split up and hatch the final egg. But wait, why is there a rope? Hmm, that doesn't make any sense. Hmm, and where's my jump pad? Well, there is no jump pad, stupid. You're going to have to jump all the way down here and fly back up. I may have forgotten that I had to do that. I was really confused there, but then I suddenly remember. At least I'm honest with you guys. All right, let's sprout our wings and fly. <laughs> okay, I might have overshot that attack. And man, that egg is huge. Way bigger than the other ones. Hmm, I don't know what that is, but yeah. What I gotta do is just nest on this final egg. That is a very not I like this color scheme, the blue and the orange. I don't know why, I just like, I just... I think that's a really cool color, and holy crud! Yikes! She's a big girl, isn't she? Hmm, too right. She can't even fly. Hmm, <laughs> I'm not sure if this will be room in our nest. Could you just hit it with one of those grenade? Oh my gosh, that's terrible! You heartless! Only joking! Bring a dummy! And I'll work her out in an exercise program. 
I'll just go and find Banjo then. So yeah, now we need to use Banjo, which I think is a really cool way to end off this uh, little egg side quest. It's like the whole time you're using Kazooie, and it's like, well, what about Banjo? And it's like, you're finally gonna use Banjo. I like how my accent for Banjo has changed over the course of, like, several years. <laughs> used to be, oh, I'm Banjo! He used to be 100% hick. Oh my gosh, almost fell. And now he's like this sincere, like, you know what? Moments like this are what makes adventuring worthwhile. And it's like, the heck happened, Banjo? I can't decide on an accent for you. <laughs> I think when I did Kazooie, he was just kind of like, you know what? I'm Banjo. It's not a little bit like Goofy. You know what? Maybe maybe he is Goofy in another life. I think Banjo's pretty goofy. Oh, um, anyways, we got your baby. We got all of them. You think you could toss me a third jiggy? That'd be pretty cool. And that's the last of them. Thank goodness. Cause we won't <laughs> see another egg for the rest of the game. Well, too bad she's gonna have to. And here's the other half of your reward. As promised. <laughs> I already make someone else miss foul. Oh well, oh, yeah, it's Canary Mary. Ugh, I can't even shudder to think about Canary Mary right now. Okay, let's. Gr Ooh. Ooh. That was a little spooky. She uh, croaked, or not croaked, but. No, Banjo! <laughs> How do I just fall off of everything? Oh my god. <laughs> Jeez, John, calm down. But no. I actually meant to do that. I also meant to do that, because now we are going to go to the train station and get prepared to get our final jiggy for Terry Dactyland. And I am honestly excited about that, because then we get to progress to the next level. So really quickly, I'm just gonna stop right outside of the train station, wherever the heck this is. But yeah, I don't know, I like this level. I wish there were more dinosaurs, diner you know, for me there's more dinosaurs levels in gaming, because I mean, eh, Chrono Trigger, yeah, it won. Okay, more action games with dinosaur levels, let's be honest. That needs to happen. There needs to be a modern platformer, heck, a Mario game. Well, I mean, you count all of Super Mario, it's pretty much a dime. Okay, this is still I need to shut up, the episode's over. Thank you all so much for watching this episode of Let's Play Banjo Tooie. We got pretty much just about everything finished in this level that we can do right now. We got. Oh. Yeah, we did do everything. That one Cheeto page we will get later, and the three Jiggies that we were missing. Technically, one we can't really do now, so don't worry about it. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. See you in the next episode where we help out that Triceratops mother and cure her final baby. See you guys then.